Thank you for being with us this morning for worship, however you are joining us, whether it is here in the sanctuary, watching on live stream, or later in the week and on um, Access Cable TV. Leading in the service today, we have Stephen Mast, who heard Joe's plea for help <laughs> and stepped up. <coughs> so we thank you. Joe is back in the back clapping. Um, we have Bev. Doesn't she look relaxed and kind of boatish? Back from her vacation on a boat. Pam on drums. Upstairs we have the crew of Chris, George, and Don who are bringing you sound and vision. And for those of you watching online, um, the whole thing. And we have Trish who isn't wrangling children today because Grace told her it was her daddy's birthday, or Grace told her grandmother it was her daddy's birthday, so what kind of daughter would leave him home alone? And, but um, Trish is handling the online conversation. It is good to be here. Before we move further into worship, we have today's Jesse update. Um, there he is with his daddy. He is officially a month old. Seems like he's been here with us forever. Um, Jesse was scheduled to have surgery tomorrow, but that has been postponed a little bit. It will be sometime later this week. Um, I once again plan to be there for his surgery. So always, if you can't find me in town, text me and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Um, more than likely, I'll be on 31 or 65 or 421. But um, I asked Candace this morning how he was doing, and she said he was peaceful yesterday when they, when they left his room and watching the camera. He seemed to have a good night. So we continue to pray for his strength and for the surgery that is to come. 
Please sign in on the black pads found in your pews. Now is a good time to make sure that we have emails and updated contact information as we prepare to produce a new directory for our church. If you are watching online, please let us know that you are here. And now let us listen to the music for gathering. As we continue our exploration of the Sermon on the Mount, perhaps the most famous extended teaching of Jesus from the Gospels, Jesus once again lays an expectation and blessing on us as we are called to be the church. Through this glimpse of what living in the kingdom of heaven is like, we discover, ready or not, we are representatives of the church whether we claim that role or not. People will look at us and say, oh, that is what it means to belong to a church. Or that is what the Christian faith is all about. Is that frightening? Of course it is. Here again, Jesus asks us to reflect on the power we already have. You are salt. You are light. Not, do you want to be salt or do you want to be light? We are called to season our world. How will we do that? Water, river, spirit, grace, sweep over me, sweep over me. We carve the depths your fingers traced in sculpting me, in sculpting me. Water, And now, please stand in body or spirit. Oh, sorry, that should be later. Call to worship first. <laughs> you could call, you can stay. Oh, yes, thanks. As we join in the call to worship, followed by the opening hymn. I skipped right to the opening hymn. I apologize. We know you will always skip straight to you. That's right. <laughs> we are called to bring a new understanding of God, that God so loves the world. We are called to bring a new hope in God, that God gives us new life. We are, life we are called to follow the commandments and the law. The law of God is love of God and love of one another. Come, let us be the salt of the earth, the light of the world. Let us join together in our love of God to worship and follow Jesus as we sing our opening hymn of praise as a fire is meant for burning 
in the faith we sing 2237 or on the monitors as a fire is meant for burning. may be seated. I'm going to invite Ms. Trish to come up for the messy moment because the messy moment as it connects to messy church and to try it is not just for adults. It is for all of God's children. So if anyone wants to come and join her, feel free. I'm going to turn the messy moment over to Mr. Stephen in just a couple minutes because when we say, um, when I get asked about messy church, which by the way, if you missed the messy chili cook-off Friday, this, this past Friday, you missed a fantastic night of messy church, but I digress. When I explain what, why it's called messy church, why messy, because life is messy, because church is messy, and sometimes... Sunday mornings are messy. Like when you plan for children to sing, to, to share the song that they've been working on and try it, we promise they've been working on it and try it, but then Sunday morning comes and it's, it's somebody's birthday and somebody was really busy sledding yesterday and kids are tired. And so Mr. Stevens going to do his song with all of you this morning. But before I turn over the messy moment to Mr. Steven, I have this, um, speaking of messy, <laughs> Speaking of messy, <laughs> Wednesday night at Try It, our lesson, if you don't know what Try It is, that's our weekly kind of kids club meeting, um, kids of all ages, it's our, that's our Bible lesson um, this week, was Jesus teaches us to pray. And so, the ones who keep on making peace, they shall be called the children, the children of God. Oh, happy are the ones, happy are the ones, happy are the ones, who keep on making peace, who keep on making peace. Huh. Huh. Happy are the ones, 
who show their light. They shall see. They shall see God. Oh, happy are the ones. Happy are the ones who show their light. Those of you who are in the building on Wednesday night before bells and choir know why we had children running around going, ooh. That was their favorite part. Yeah. Jesus continues to share words with those who, although not perfect, were committed to following him. He understands them as salt and light for the world. These familiar words, written to a community of believers and followers, challenge them to move out into the world, sharing the justice, mercy, and hope that Jesus brings. And the same words that we will hear in just a moment challenge us. May we center our hearts and minds for the hearing of Scripture as we sing the Alleluia. A reading from the fifth chapter of the Gospel of Matthew, verses 13 through 20. You are the salt of the earth, but what if salt were to lose its flavor? How could you restore it? It would be fit for nothing but to be thrown out and trampled underfoot. You are the light of the world. You don't build a city on a hill, then try to hide it, do you? You don't light a lamp, then put it under a bushel basket, do you? No, you set it on a stand where it gives light to all in the house. In the same way, your light must shine before others so that they may see your good acts and give praise to your Abba God in heaven. Don't think I've come to abolish the law and the prophets. I have come not to abolish them, but to fulfill them. The truth is, until heaven and earth shall pass away, not the smallest letter of the law, not even the smallest part of a letter, will be done away with until it is all fulfilled. That's why whoever breaks the least significant of these commandments and teaches others to do the same will be called the least in the kingdom of heaven. Whoever fulfills and teaches these commands will be called great in the kingdom of heaven. I tell you, unless your sense of justice surpasses that of the religious scholars and the Pharisees, you will not enter the kingdom of heaven. may be seated. Will you pray with me? May the words of my mouth and the meditation of our hearts be acceptable unto you, 
our strength, and our Redeemer. 34, an Ash Wednesday service in the sanctuary. There's a new directory coming soon. Plan on coming to worship and having your picture taken during one of the Sundays in March. You may also send pictures in JPEG format to the church email address if you wish to do so. In addition to pictures on those Sundays, we'll be updating phone numbers, cell phone numbers, emails, and any information we have about you. Lent is traditionally a time for disciples, new and old, to prepare for church membership. If you are considering joining First United Methodist Church, either as a transfer from another United Methodist congregation or from another denomination, a first-time church member, or to restore your membership in this congregation, please put a note in the collection plate or contact the church office so that we can be in communication with you. Ad Council will meet on Zoom February 13th at 7.30 p.m. Tomorrow morning at 8.30-ish, give it 15 minutes ahead, 15 minutes behind. We have a USDA shipment, and we will need as many hands as possible to help. I know that um, David and Tammy will be here, but we will also need some more help to get it into the building and onto the shelves. The altar flowers this morning are provided by Chris Prohl and Kieran Linus in memory and honor of Ruth and John Linus's 74th wedding anniversary. And now this is the time that we move in our service to the sharing of joys and concerns, and I have one to start with. Many of you know who Sister Melanie is. She worshiped with us for many years, sang in the choir, participated in the madrigal, wearing, of all things, I think a wedding dress. Um, we, she left this note on the pulpit right after Christmas. She said, Dear Nancy, the church, choir, and all of the people of the parish, may you rejoice. I offer you a gift of prayer on Sunday, February 5th for any of your special intentions in the year of 2023. It's not just the easy things, but the difficult things. Thank you for calling us to see and to do and to share your love. We thank you for salt, all of the different kinds of salt because we are all your salty people and we are all different. Use us to speak hope and justice to your world. We thank you for the evidence of unity that we see here in this congregation with a Catholic nun praying for her Protestant parish and a Protestant parish praying for our Catholic sister. Oh, that the world could be that unified. You heard our prayers, the ones that we spoke silently. And we know that you are present with those for whom we pray. This we ask in Jesus' name. Amen. Salty, light-bearing, seekers after righteousness, all who love Christ and seek peace with one another, all who know the power of Christ's forgiving love, come to this sacrifice of thanksgiving, this meal at Christ's own table. For all are welcome. Come as you are. Come to be changed. Come offering peace to one another. Come offering your gifts to God. The peace of Christ is with you. Let us exchange signs of peace with one another. You can hug each other, you can be distant, however you share.
the ushers please come to receive our morning offering. may be seated. The light of the world is among us. The Spirit has seasoned us. Praise our triune God with me. Wisdom and might are yours forever. Honor and glory and wisdom and might are yours, holy triune God, life speaker, lawgiver, deliverer, savior, and Lord of all. Your love illumines the universe. Your infinity, infinity multiplies the colors, sounds, smells, and textures, and tastes with joys that fill our senses beyond all overflowing. The ver diversity of your radiance exceeds all knowing. In awe and love, we join our voices with angels and saints, martyrs and cherubim, with those who came before us and the generations that will follow in words ancient and ever new. Holy, 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 Lord God of every power, the universe bestows your glory from everlasting to everlasting. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is Christ who has come in your name. Hosanna in the highest. Pure brightness of the ever living one, Jesus Christ, holy and blessed, to you we turn. Before you we bow, behind you we follow. With you we go into the world, salt and light, fulfilling your law of love toward God and neighbor, family and stranger, enemy and friend. You have taught us the way of love in your life, in your death, and in your rising. And you have shown us such love in the meal you first shared with your disciples on the night you were betrayed. You took bread and blessed it, broke it, and gave it to them, saying, This take now and eat. This is my body broken for you. Do this remember. You took the cup of wine and gave thanks, then passed it to them, saying, Drink from this, each one of you. This is my blood for a new covenant that delivers the world from the power of sin and death. Do this to remember me. Obeying 
this command, Triune God, and looking for his return at the last day, we offer here ourselves. With this bread and this cup, our sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving for all you have done and will do to save us. Receive our prayers, our gifts, and us. Even so, Holy Spirit, come upon us and upon these gifts. Make them be for us a sharing in Christ's body and blood, and make us, receiving them, his body for the world, and make us one with you, with each other, in ministry and mission to all the world. And in joyful anticipation of that day, when we shall feast at the heavenly banquet of Christ's final victory, we give you all the praise, holy God, source, sustenance, and crown of all, now and forever. And all the people said, Amen. Amen. And now, with truly the confidence of the children of God, May we share in the Lord's Prayer, not the one that we know, but the one that we need to hear this day. Our Father, who is in heaven, holy be your name. Thy kingdom come, God's way be done. On earth as it is in heaven, give us this day our daily needs. And forgive us for our mistakes, as we forgive those who make mistakes against us. And lead us not into making bad choices, but save us from evil. For yours is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen. You are all invited to receive at the table. The bread we are using this morning is gluten-free. Although we, I do not have a gluten-free home, the bread itself is gluten-free. So if you need total celiac safety, there is still an option on the communion rail. As you come to receive, the, bro the broken bread will be dipped into the cup and given to you. Come with outstretched hands and open hearts as you receive. I invite Trish and Stephen to come and help. Christ broken for you. And this is the blood of Christ shed for you. the gifts of God are here for the people of God and we will bring to the pews for those who need to receive there.
together the prayer for after receiving. Eternal one, we give you thanks for this holy mystery in which you have given yourself to us. Now send us forth in the strength of the Spirit to be salt and light, enlivening and illumining every corner with your truth and love. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Now please stand and body your spirit as we sing our closing hymn, You Are the Seed, number 583 in the hymnal or on the monitors. You Are the Seed, number 583. Go forth 
Go back. Go forth. Go forth, salty ones, season and shake up the place. Go forth, beacons of light, and let God's love and truth shine. Go forth, all of you, filled with and practicing God's righteousness, and make righteousness abound. Go forth in the name and the power and blessing of our triune God, and draw all kinds of glory to God's name. Amen. Amen.